Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining us once again here at Sea Freedom Brew for our weekly briefing. This week, we want to go over a couple of releases that came out last week. And we want to start off by looking at the Small Business Optimism Index. As you can see, uh, the Optimism Index came down to 104.9. So we had a little bit of a fall off in here uh, since this November. However, if you look, look historically, we're still at fairly high levels. So we're still optimistic in here. Uh, when we look at the different individual components, just a couple of things to note. If you look at the employment, the plans to increase employment, as well as current job openings, you can see that there's little change from uh, last month and their respondents to the surveys. Uh, one of the main things that they're saying is that it's difficult to find skilled laborers. In fact, 92% of the uh, firms out there looking to hire individuals commented that they could not find the appropriate skilled laborers to do the jobs they are hiring for. And that was primarily in the construction and manufacturing industries. So that's one thing to keep an eye on, especially when we look at the wage inflation moving into this year and throughout this year. Also, we want to look at the overall level of earnings, as you can see, uh, was down 15, down to the net 15 percent, coming down a change of five points from November. And then lastly, look at the expected sales higher. Uh, while it was down six points from November, this 28 percent net change, that is fairly high when we look historically. Uh, so that's a, a, a fairly high number. So that's still a positive, even though it fell month over month. We move from this small business index. We look at inflation now with the producer price index. Uh, the producer price index coming out last week, you can see here under expectations, we had actually a negative overall uh, change here, 0.1%. So it's negative 0.1% change month over month. Uh, the consensus was going up 0.2%. So well under uh, the consensus and well under where we were the prior month at 0.4%. So we had this big decline here, not only in the final demand in total, but also in the goods and the services sector, both of them uh, falling. When we look less food and energy, looking at that core uh, number here, also down by one tenth of percent. Consensus was at two uh, positive two tenths of percent. So both overall and core numbers coming down. When we look at it on a year over year basis, similar trends here where we have the year over year up 2.6% below the prior month of 3.1. So we saw that inflation overall come down from where we were last month when we're looking year over year. And that trend is, is consistent in the less food and energy or that core looking at a plus 2.3% change year over year. And the prior month was at 2.4. So a slight decline in that. So here, when we look at the producer price index, inflation really not an issue, still very subdued. When we look at the consumer price index, we can see month over month, we came in at 0.1% right where the consensus was at 0.1%. And a year over year, uh, we came in at 2.1, similar to the consensus at 2.1. So consumer, on a consumer side, still seeing the uh, lack of inflation. However, when we look at the less items, the less food and energy, that core number, we came in a little above consensus for the CPI at 0.3%, where the month over month consensus was 0.2%, so slightly above that consensus. Also, with the year over year, 1.8% on that core CPI, and the consensus was 1.7. Nothing really to push us forward here, but it gets us into that trend 
of increasing inflation here. So it's something to look, keep an eye on when we, when we start to see the other numbers come out for December. And as we move through 2018. Uh, lastly, just want to cover the retail sales. Retail sales overall, not a, an extremely positive report. Uh, we were up just 0.4% uh, month over month. Uh, the consensus was 0.5, so a little less than consensus. Not a big positive for the fourth quarter GDP, but we are showing, we look, you combined uh, October, November, and December, and it could be uh, a plus for the fourth quarter GDP on the consumer side. One thing to note, though, is you look down here, retail, non-retail stores, up 1.2 percent they've had a very strong run in december and november in fact when we look as a percentage of total retail sales in december it was at 13.48 percent so non-retail stores at 13.48 percent of total uh, retail sales that is up from where it was last december in 2016 at 12.71 so we continue to see that trend move toward those non-retail stores and we've seen a whole bunch of articles out there indicating the death of the brick and mortar stores i don't believe it's going to be a death but there's definitely a slowdown and a pullback in those brick and mortar stores well that's what we have for you this week we hope to see you back here next week as we look at other pertinent releases as well as interest rates have a great week, everyone.